And I'm playing uh, Tomasz Tavaro in our silver playoff match. And yes, yeah, so I'm going to be solo commentating while streaming. Um, I'll try to keep an eye on the chat. Please, no tips, because I mean, there's a delay, but still, I mean, yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I'm purging here. Uh, yeah, definitely gonna purge. Yeah, uh, so silver playoffs, best of one, winner moves on. We scheduled this game like two hours ago, so. And I'm seven and eight, so looking to even up that record. Last time we played was RTSL. This is. Yeah, last time we played was RTSL like about maybe a month ago and I got like thoroughly destroyed. Turn four, I think the game was over. Um, so hoping to do better this time. Also, Tomash, uh, as long as I've played him and he's had a choice, he's always preferred USA. So really surprised he chose the USSR for this match because he has a higher seed. Um, so yeah, I mean, I to be honest, I prefer the USSR. So maybe that's why he switched up. I don't know if he knows that or not, but um, whatever the case might be, that's what's going on. That's what's up. So. Yeah, I have two strategies against Tomasz. Uh, the first one is to play as quick as I can because he is notorious for taking his time. So if I can time them out by turn 10, I mean, I'll take that win. Win's a win in my books. Um, and the other strategy is not to let him get into Afghanistan because uh, that has very dire consequences. All right, I'm tracking cards, so. Um, I, I probably won't talk as much as I talk, obviously, when I commentate games here on ARZ, but um, I'll try, I'll do my best to to explain my thought process and kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, it's a pretty solid hand. I mean, it's, it could be better, obviously, but I mean, with him purge, I have three free three ops to play. Airbus really goes to space. Um, yeah. Ideally, I think I hold you an intervention and play Truman and CIA. I have to delay Comic Con for blockade. Um, and yeah. And we'll see where things take us. Truman, CIA, Arab Israeli. Okay, socialist governments. So, Purge really helps my chances of avoiding a successful Italy coup. I mean, still, he has pretty good odds to succeed, but let's see what I can do. That's assuming he goes for it. I, I mean, I, why wouldn't he? Two Italy, one West Germany, and, uh, and I guess a three op coup of Italy with a four. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know about that one. I mean, that's definitely very good for me. And the fact that he cooed with Ramones, and that means he might have a really weak hand. Okay. Gotta think this through. <sighs> How vital is taking West Germany? Right away. I kind of want to spread into Pakistan first. So I think I'll use, I'll use East European unrest for influence. UK could mean special relationship. Because look, even if he plays into West Germany, uh, first of all, I can ignore him for the time being because I have Truman. I can, I can just take France, right? So I'm thinking I repair UK in case he has special relationship. And I'm tempted to go too straight into Pakistan. And let him risk a let him risk a coup there. Yeah, I like that. Play aggressive, play to the battlegrounds. Okay, I mean UK wasn't a battleground, but uh, I don't know why. I just feel like I'm gonna take it eventually and I want that option special relationship because I I'm, I don't have the greatest ops in the world. Who with a one op in Iran? Huh. I mean, I hope he has a terrible hand. Um, hopefully the stream is working. I mean, uh, there's a delay, so I'll get a notification on my phone and should be in a few minutes that uh, Action Run Zero is live. Yeah, and I have Truman, so again, I think he's purged. So West Germany is not really an issue. Like, West Germany itself, obviously access to France, yeah, he could fill up France. Wow, okay, he's gonna go for it, wow. 
Oh, that's what we like to see. That is exactly what we like to see. This is really good. I think I just coup back Iraq and get my mill ops. Annoying thing is that I either I UN Erebus really, which is not that bad of an option, although I do want a space. Either I UN Erebus really, or I coup with a 1 or I coup with a 3. Everything seems kind of wasteful. Maybe this isn't too bad. I do this though, I don't have ops to take France and West Germany and Pakistan and Malaysia. What do I, how many ops do I have this turn? If, let's say I coup with 5 your plan. And let's assume he blockades me as well. I mean, I'm looking at what, 2 ops here? Well, I'll have the China card next turn and he's still purged. I think I have to give up give up on France for this turn. Maybe I just coup with a one op. Maybe I UN Arabids really. Maybe I need the ops more than spacing right now. Issue is if I get blockaded, then I'm down a card. I'm definitely cooing. I just don't know with what. I can UN Arab, I can do a Truman coup, or I can do a five year plan coup. You know what, knocking him out of Iraq and losing him access to Saudi, uh, it's, it has value, so... Yes, and a 6 means that, okay, so using an extra op just meant an extra, using an, yeah, using a higher card just meant an higher, an extra, okay, that's awesome. Cool rolls, man, that's what the game's about. Now look at Middle East, wow. That's a one-off, uh, Lebanon, right? Yeah. Okay. So, for Mosin Kuiran, China card Pakistan, and then Fidel into Lebanon. Does he have the scoring or not? The only way I can prevent the scoring is I can't play Comic Con. Oh, uh, West Germany's only at two. <laughs> This is probably not a good idea. Oh man, should I? Man, it's purchase and killing him. Every AR. It's been huge. Okay, the fact that he went for Lebanon at Defcon 2 means I'm gonna assume no D cards, no Vietnam revolts. Right. Which is good news. I think I'm greedy, I want the VPs. Two ops into a non you know what, no. Just go one into Iraq, it's the same. Uh, I'm playing too slow, way too slow, holy. It's 60 minutes, I have more time than usual, I'm used to 45 pace. That's why I try to play my friendlies at 45, so extra 15 minutes in officials really do help. I just don't have ops, man. If I had ops this turn, I would be everywhere right now. I would be, I would be dominating all three regions if I had ops. I mean, I have all the access in the world. Okay, Europe's on the back burner. Maybe UK was stupid in hindsight. Okay, Europe's on the back burner. Um, I have to go to Malaysia this turn, which I can do without it with CIA probably. Don't have to go right away. You know what? I want my VPs. Screw it. I don't know. I think I blockaded. I'm only losing two ops right now. Is my logic. Let's see what he does. Oh, actually, on zero is live. Okay, let me just check, uh, make sure chat and everything is good. Sorry for the wrong title, guys. Uh, let me know if audio, video is good. We probably won't have that many viewers, but hey, somebody can watch it if they're up this time. Should be in a few minutes that uh, I can't do this live. 
Damn, he did have T-Cole. Oops. Uh, that's bad. That's a big oops. Screw space, I need my ops. I'm so ops poor, it's not even funny. But I have the China card. Oops, I, was a, I can't believe he went for Lebanon over. I guess it makes sense, but at that time I could have gone Malaysia. Maybe I should have gone Malaysia. Maybe I just really misplayed this. I don't know. Too late now. Yes, Tim, I am pretending to be Peter. Ugh. That's disgusting. I really hope he has Middle East and my Comic-Con play was worth it, otherwise I'm going to feel kind of dumb. Just give me ops next turn and I'm set. I'm, I mean, I'm down to play the China card, I'm down to play everything, because I have all the access. I mean, Europe domination, Middle East domination, I already have Asia domination, all three should be on the board for me. Okay, Asia is questionable now with the decoy, but let's see. I'm assuming he just fills Thailand and probably goes to Zaire or something. Maybe I should have waited on Jordan and went for an AR6 play of flipping Lebanon. I don't know. That, yeah, that, but uh, again, my thought process is he has a scoring, right? So I hope he does have the scoring. The fact that it's taking this long, this seems pretty simple, right? You just take Thailand, maybe one into France. Also, this is good because now he has obligations too, so I don't think he'll have time to, de uh, to blockade me. I don't think. Like, he might just, he might even end up just playing it for an op. Wow. Wow. Wow, I am surprised. I am very surprised. Uh, let's play CIA to Thailand. <laughs> this is so sad. Yes, he does have Middle East. Okay, I feel so much better about my comic gun play. Huh. Without three ops for three VPs, down. And, I mean, obviously, the long-term benefits as well. Oh my god, everything's hanging. And I have the China card. Okay. This is so wild. Yeah, that purge hand was... It was tough. <laughs> okay. Solid hand, got D style. That's a big one. Now let's play a little bit slowly and carefully. Yeah, the UK play. I'm doubting myself now. I don't know why. I mean, whether he has special relationship or not, he's obviously going to remove from UK there. So maybe that was a little bit. Um, like Lebanon was probably way better and would have saved me some time slash ops, probably. Although he might have cooed Lebanon. I don't know. I don't know. Would have been interesting, but. Okay, taking a look at my hand, I think uh, this is a kind of an easy martial headline, easy-ish martial headline, especially with NATO not around, I mean, and Europe in hand. Doesn't leave him with a whole lot of ops. Okay, what could he theoretically headline here? Asia scoring? Possibly, because what are the cards that I have that could affect Asia scoring? Nothing. So Asia scoring is a safe headline for him. Um, in which case, defectors would be one VP. Um, CNS, I guess, theoretically, although maybe not. Uh, what else would he headline here? Uh, De Gaulle, obviously. Obviously, De Gaulle, obviously, um, and Suez Crisis as well would both be really good headlines, I think. And the Cambridge 5 would be pretty solid. I mean, it would work here. Nasser is always on the table, although with it scored. So I would love to hit the Gaul or Suez with defectors. But I think Marshall's just more, like it's just smarter. Like I need the ops too. Hmm. Hmm. It's either Marshall or it's Defectors. 
What forts are out? There's nuclear test ban, NATO, and US Japan. Okay, Marshall. Thank God. If I defected Romania, I was going to be pissed. Oh, sh oh, I have the scoring. Okay, I was about to lose it for a second. All right. Excellent. So I should, uh, this should be a straightforward Europe Dom. I don't see any way out of it for him. Having the China card is so nice. It's this insurance, this backup. He's probably going to take Thailand now and I get an Angola coup. Like, this is looking really good. And if he wants to, like, I don't know, ops war me in Europe, I'm so down. I think I'm down. Also, NATO, NATO will be activated if he plays it, so that's also nice to hold on to special relationship here. Good stuff. Hold D-style if you block caves, give it away, it's very simple. Vietnam's my last AR. It's very straightforward. Indo, I mean, if he coos here, which I, he might coo Iran, actually. Okay, okay. Cooing Iran is is uh, is definitely very reasonable. I mean, Milops-wise, he's protecting Angola and Zaire, and so basically he's getting... Angola, Zaire, Iran, and Pakistan for a successful Iran coup and Milops in exchange for Thailand. Uh, that's a lot. I would consider it if I were him. If he has high ops, he will probably go for it. Very happy with the Marshall headline. Hassan did three op coup like I did against him earlier today, lol. Oh, right, in Iraq, yeah. I mean, you don't see that every day. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny, I did do that back to back. I mean, in this case, it was because I didn't have a two to go with that. It might have been the case for you two, I don't know. Always cool, though, to knock, to knock the USSR out of that region. Oh, Western, is that Western or Eastern? West, no, Eastern, Eastern uh, Middle East. Eastern Middle East, what the heck, okay. Like my position, I like the game so far. I think I'm pretty well set. Obviously, Dequel hurt, said that he's all over Africa, but I have D style, so honestly, I'll take it. I think the argument for for cooing Iran is very strong. Thankfully, I have Indo Pak, which can serve as both mill ops and also potentially flipping Pakistan once he enters it. I could see him if he has a four. I could see him go like. 3 Thailand, 1 Afghanistan, but the issue is I have the China card, so... Well, yeah, actually, no. He goes 3 Thailand, 1 Afghanistan, I coup Angola, and then he goes Pakistan over text Thailand. Uh, I could see that. Well, I mean, even that situation, I have Indo-Pak, first of all, and second of all, I also get Angola and Zaire out of it, and Milops out of it, so, I mean... I think I'll be okay, and I only need 2 op for Europe. That's the sweetest thing about this setup, that just France and Western only takes me 2 ops. And again, if he plays NATO, then special relationship is another two VPs event. Also, South Korea still to uh, keep in mind. I can always uh, drop two there if I feel like I'm getting way behind in Asia. But honestly, with I, I don't think I can get dominated in Asia. I like I, I probably have more chances to dominate. Probably not this turn though. Don't have the ops. I don't think unless I play China, which I kind of want to hold on to it. Although, although, there's an argument, no, there's not, because if you blockade me, I don't have anything else to give to hold these stuff. Okay. Yeah, for people tuning in, this is not Peter Zhao versus uh, Michael Stryker. Okay. Thailand, Pakistan, that's my guess. Thailand, Afghanistan. Ah, uh, Thailand's here. Smart. May sensible. I'm hundo taking this coup. Uh, do I coup Angola or Zaire? It's one of those things that probably doesn't even matter, but... Angola removes South Africa access, but Angola is vulnerable to those, to those annoying cards. Um, uh, the Angola cards. Nice. That's what I was hoping for. Just roll big enough so the Angola cards won't matter. I think there's something to be said for removing access as well. Alright, Mr. Tsevaro. 
What do you got for me? Um, Erebus really is gone. Korean War's around, so he could avenge Korean War for Milops. But if he doesn't have it, then that's another two VPs I'm going to get this turn. So he needs to overtake Thailand. I'm assuming like maybe a 3 up, 1 Thailand, 2 South Korea. That would make a lot of sense. I don't think he's going to contest Europe. I mean, if he drops a 4 into France right now, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I just hope he doesn't contest it. <sighs> maybe I should pull a min... min uh, the other day, some dude was calling me out on Discord because I pronounced his name wrong. Um, Min, I forget what it was supposed to be like. Min Chow, I think? I don't know. Min, I'm, I'm a puller, whatever he did in event style. No, I'm not gonna. Oh, see, so yeah, I said Peter Zhao. Apparently, it's Peter Drow. Learn something new every day. I hope he doesn't contest Europe, because I, I don't have the ops really to fight him off. I mean, even with China card, I might not. It depends on his ops too, though. But there's still two Fords out there in NATO and US Japan. There's still De Gaulle, there's still Warsaw, still Suez. Um, yeah. Damn. Damn. This calls for a China card play. Do I value France more or Thailand more? With the scoring in hand, definitely France. And with other ways to equalize in Asia and nothing else really to do in Europe. So he probably suspected defectors, which is, I'm, I'm assuming, why he didn't headline De Gaulle. He went Romanian. I mean, it ended up working out for me, but... So the plan is uh, something like the next move is probably Laos and West Germany, if he doesn't do anything to upset that, which probably he'll take Laos and set up a domination, in which case I actually don't have a response. Wow. Yeah, two Pakistan doesn't cut it. Oh, I do. I can go Malaysia, Indonesia. But then he enters Burma. Then I take Pakistan. Then if he takes India, then I take South Korea. I have a lot of twos. I, I, I think I would go Malaysia, Indonesia. I would play to stop the scoring still. I think he will go Laos here, like I can't imagine him not, unless he wants to dump Ops into West Germany, which is pretty risky, I mean, all things considered. Okay, now it's their event. All right. So it defectors into West Germany and Laos. Cut him off there and grab my domination. Looks good. Good stuff. I wonder if he has Warsaw, could he consider eventing it to grab- No, no, I have- Okay, I have Spain, Portugal. I forgot I evented Marshall. I think he could fight me on country count, but there's no way he can. Okay. Yeah, people tuning in, this is not Peter's out. Alright. So, plan is drop Europe. Um, hold Indo Pack and D style, right? That makes a lot of sense to grab my middle ops next turn. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm a card. Oh, wow, so I don't have that many ops, eh? Because hopefully I can get rid of Europe. If he events Suez here. Damn. Oh, come on. 
that opens the door for NATO. But do I really have a choice? I mean, the good thing is now now the 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 France cards are gone. I mean, there goes to us and the Gaul permanently. I'm probably not going to end up with a domination this turn. I'm realizing. Yeah, I mean, I uh, I have to do this, even though uh, now you can play NATO. NATO jam into France would not surprise me. Does he does he think that I have this point? What have I done? Oh, Marshall, I guess. Just uh, where did Olympic go? Olympic was my coup card. China filled France. It's just been responding to him, so I don't think like it's a given. Okay, space, interesting. Success. Wind attack to UK, and can I create a crisis? Not really. South Korea might make him panic. Just go Pakistan. Yeah, actually, Pakistan's pretty key. And if he breaks France, he breaks France. Looks like he doesn't have Queen War. Yeah, I, I, uh, ideally I would hold Indo Pak like I said I would. Okay, yeah, this is Hundo breaking France. Annoying, but. Yeah. The lots are nice. <laughs> okay, Middle East headline here seems uh, obvious and apparent. Damn, Asia is not in good shape. Asia is actually in really bad shape, all things considered. And this hand, what is this garbage? Holy. If I get purged here, I'm in trouble, aren't I? Well, thanks. I appreciate that, Tomash. Okay, I need to focus on time. Uh, containment's gone, didn't get a single op out of a boo. I should know most of his hand here, and it looks like it's an awesome hand. Uh, yeah, so I know he has independent reds, NATO, Cambridge 5, US, Japan, Warsaw. Damn. Middle East and others, really. Okay, so... I mean, Cambridge would be really annoying, even just sitting in Asia, but... Can I headline Asia? Maybe that would be smarter. What can he... Okay, Dequal obviously gives him a domination. But that's it. Yo, maybe this is a play. Because uh, I don't have ops, man. I really don't to fight him in Asia. I'm strongly considering Asia. I go Asia, he probably coos Panama, I drop Middle East. If he coos Iran, because he has a ton of ops, right? Yeah, I think I drop Asia, he has too many ops. Oh, no decoy, yes. Oh, but he got Middle East. Okay, better than better than the other way around, I think. I think. So Middle East, I should be able to draw. Still. Maybe. Yeah, if I had gone Middle East and he... Yeah, I was so getting dominated in Asia, like, no doubt. But now he's also, I mean, he also probably wants to take France, so that's another interesting kind of dilemma here. Also the coup, I mean, there's so much going on now. I'm assuming he drops one into Iran and coups Iran, that would make sense. But then, uh, if, he get, if he takes Iran, like if he takes a country, oh man, then it's tough, I actually don't know what, what to do. Because... Either I can repair, like I literally don't have a 3 off to play, so either I can repair Iran. Or I can drop the scoring, or I can take France. And everything's very important. Like everything is crucial.
Yeah, this hand is just, uh, it's one that I gotta survive. Again, I think my position's, it's definitely like, it's definitely not bad. Am I ahead? I think, but... Okay, and Kua ran, right? Yeah. <laughs> kind of overkill there, Tomash. Whew. Alright, so he has US Japan that he could use to take France. Okay, so now that I'm getting dominated, now this is easy. Now I just play Herb Israeli. Even though I don't want to, but I play Herb Israeli and I just take France. Wish I had a 3 to grab Pakistan, but it is what it is. I really hope he feels nice if we're just there. Alright, so I'm getting dominated in the Middle East, but. And I'm gonna lose my lap, so probably gonna go. And he's probably gonna space successfully, so. Might go down to minus five. If he has Europe scoring, that would take it to even. Metallic saying USSR should never fear defectors with the goal. Um, yeah, maybe I, I understand that line of thought. Turn two, you haven't seen it. What are the odds? Like 40% that the other guy has it? Something like that, right? Higher? Lower? No, higher. No. I don't know. But the odds are pretty good. Okay, where's this going? Libya, right? Okay. I can actually probably wait to drop it. I mean, maybe this is hella risky, but I think Pakistan is pretty important. So what's he going to do? Like, break your rack? Like, go for it. He should just scored. But I have no... Uh, Pakistan's still worth it. Uh, it's a, yeah. So event CNS, uh, play Middle East, space Korean, actually, yeah, space Korean, and Vietnam to Panama and Mexico. If he plays US Japan, I'm gonna event I'm gonna event Korean actually, I think. Okay. So he's also playing into Asia. So I feel less bad about my uh, blockade move. Let's drop the scoring. Yeah, I mean it just makes sense, but at the same time, like with it just having dropped on turn three. Focus is definitely elsewhere. Wow, spacing independent reds. That's another like I don't know, my well, I guess he doesn't really have access to it. Eh? That's another good point. Where, does, where the heck should he play his ops? Yeah, there go US Japan as well. Succeeds. So, space screen, right? I'm tempted to, to gamble the role. Because I do want my ops here. I want to take Panama, I want to take Mexico. Even Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, Overtech France, a lot of good stuff to do. Actually, Overtech France now, nah, a socialist is the only thing that could hurt me there, so forget that. But Warsaw is out, or no? No, he just played Warsaw, right? Yeah, okay. Then how would they? Yeah, okay, Comic Con. Hmm. To risk the role or not? You know, it's a scored region. I'm losing it anyways, so. Ooh. But uh, I want to do this. Uh, let's go Panama and Mexico. Maybe I should have entered. Uh, there's not really an Ambad to enter. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Thank God. All right, I'll take the I'll take those rolls. I think that's fair. Uh, take Mexico and maybe Guatemala. I 
I mean, he can just do Panama, actually, so... Kind of like Malaysia. Yeah, I'll check France is very math. Malaysia's on my mind. As is Indonesia, actually. Might be smarter. It's off Southeast Asia, but. No, Guatemala's good. Actually, maybe Guatemala's not so good. Because if I can steal the coup next turn with like Junta or something, then he doesn't he doesn't have a way to mill ops. Seven. Kind of scary. Oh, Southeast Asia. Indonesia already paying off. Death and cover. Really wish I could headline it. Puppet is huge. A very meh hand, all things considered, but what you gonna do? Ooh, Suri, right? Grab uh, China and threaten Thailand? Yep. Uh, gunman's my hold, I guess. Uh, I think I have to event Quag, right? Kind of disgusting, but what you gonna do? Hopefully his hand is as full of blue as mine is as full of red. Puppet would be huge. I need ops, so I need free ops here. What are free ops? Not much here, just duck. Everything else is a disaster. Well, what I would love is if he will, if he overreacts to Usuri and uh, and places in Thailand instead of cooing. That would be awesome because then I can coo Zaire, and then I can also use China cards for ops in South America instead of um in Southeast Asia. Downside is I lose four VPs on Southeast Asia, so I don't know. Actually, those might be some pretty key four VPs with the, where the score is at. Like, it's not dangerous, but it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Okay, so I think the plan is Quag. Discard liber Liberation to Quag. Space Socialist. No, Space OPEC and Eat Socialist. Man, it's going to be an empty hand. An empty, uh, uh, what do you call it? An empty turn. And Lone Gunman turn 4 just really sucks. Hopefully I draw Kennedy sometime soon. Or he plays it for me. I got him pretty down on time. That's something. Oh, ABM. That's very annoying because now... Oh, but I might... Well, now there are a lot of questions. Oh, he's just gonna coup, huh? Wow. He does not care about Thailand. He's probably going to coup again. Damn, he went for Angola. What was? What did he need? Somewhat risky. I mean, with a 1 or a 2, he wasn't getting it. Maybe he doesn't have another 4 and he was on this land alert. Although ABM is always a good headline. I mean, it's not necessary. I really hope he has like Europe scoring or something that he can give me. I need VPs. Really want to play duck. Southeast Asia should be honestly a, a pretty good haul. I mean, maybe I. Oh, I don't know what to do here. Also, if he plays Thailand, do I play Lone Gunman? Nah. No. I'm not showing him the sand. Uh, I can't do that, I think. He could take Europe, he could, um, I don't know, I, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm just too weak. Playing empty ARs is one thing. When your opponent knows that you have to play empty ARs, then that's a whole different ballgame. Because 
in this turn, I'm going to spend one turn discarding to Quag, one turn spacing, one turn playing Southeast Asia, and one turn repairing social. That's four empty, four empty turns out of seven. Oh wait, if I play China, I get to hold two. Wait. Okay, good. So that's going to be one less empty AR. I can probably hold Socialist. Influence. Nice. So I get a coup off. Zimbabwe, so you're going to get you're going to get your domination. Yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, I guess I have to coup a duck. Man, where are my ops holy? Again, China card. But... Good thing I used duck. Or I had to use duck for that matter. Africa still obviously uh, not looking good at all. Uh, that's going to break UK. And I also have to repair it. I might have to play OPEC here. I want to play China after I pop it into South America. That's the whole point of me not playing China now. I could play China now into UK, Malaysia, Philippines, and one more somewhere on the board. Maybe Guatemala. Guatemala makes sense, yeah. Yeah, you know what, I think I have to do this. Ugh. Also, I have to figure out what to do with Quag. I have to break something, but I have no, I have no good breaks. This is uh, not good. Not good. Yeah, also, like, a reason I was hesitating with China is because, I mean, it feels weird to play two of them into Asia when, you know, if you play all four, you'll get an extra op. So I could have gone maybe Philippines, Malaysia, Burma, and India. It's useful. But I think UK, I mean, obviously, I have to protect against Europe. I really hope he has a bad hand that he, he would just has to play Europe. Okay, again, what's... Liberation... No, liberation is not playable. No, I cannot entertain this discussion. Socialist is playable. Can I get away without playing Quag? I can. I would hold Quag and Gundam. I would space liberation, repair socialist, and OPEC for two VPs. That's the possibility. Or my original plan, which is Quag. Dresna for influence. Where? Yeah. Just dump it, right? Yeah. It is what it is. Damn. Okay, well, he would have played it right after I puppeted, so. But still, wow. I think I quag like this. Can't take Nigeria. Well, he can in two turns. He can walk and then take it. He could break Pakistan and take it. I mean, ugh. If he has a four in the scoring, I mean, it is what it is. <sighs> Man, that South America scoring really took the wind out of my sails. I thought I was going to have a nice scoring there, but... 
mouse situation is really not looking very good at all, actually. Oh, okay, good. He doesn't have a... Again, I mean, in a sense, it, it makes sense that he would have a weak hand. If I have so many red cards, it's not necessary, but... And I got out of the trap. Good stuff. I'm going to be holding two, right? Might hold Puppet. Space Opec and uh, this event socialist. Unrest. This guy's just going off. I don't even know if that's worth it. I might have... Yeah, I don't know. Opec space. Come on, give me Kennedy. If you give me Kennedy, do I get rid of both of them? Oh, so that, that's nice. Didn't I break? No, I didn't break it. I don't know why I thought I did. What? Siku in Guatemala. Lower roll of one. Nice. That's what you like to see. Why can't I space? Alright, I was going to plan to trigger it. Yeah, actually, this might even net me like some net ops. Net me some net ops. It's kind of, you guys know what I'm trying to say. <sighs> okay. Uh, take back UK. Uh, so the socialist is in my hand, so no point in over-controlling France. I mean, there's a point, but I'm not going to do it. Egypt. Can't take Cuba, right? Alright, alright, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Um, Cameroon, maybe, access to Zaire, I can flip that. Oh, Saharan States, of course. Although he has access, but... Nasty, I can, I can break it and play into it. Yeah, Saharan States. Yeah, it seems good to me. All right, some ops. That's what I like. That's what I'm talking about. And one small step. Okay, okay. Oh, I have to show my headline. Well, that's kind of annoying. Uh, that's quite annoying, actually, because uh, there aren't many good options. I mean, Quag's gone, but I'm not headlining NORAD turn 5. Uh... Nah, it's going to be four ops, right? Three from NORAD, one to play into Canada. And I'm going to get maybe five turns out of it, because I'm not going to get it this turn, because I don't have Canada currently. Uh, so four ops for five turns of NORAD. It's not bad, I mean, to be honest. Maybe. Maybe I headline NORAD. Seems very weird, but... Latin American Death Squad is also... Uh, Nigeria is cute. Kennedy would get rid of Gunman, Che, Flower Power. Do I, no, I keep Flower Power. I keep Flower Power. Gunman, Che, Death Squads. That's kind of it. Worth it? But what's the other option? I, I'm not going to be able to dump Gunman this turn, so I have to hold on to Gunman, which means I have to play Kennedy for Ops. Which means, no, I mean, that's not good. So I think I kind of have to do this. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. I'm fine with that. Shuttle doesn't get me anything. Puppet doesn't make sense. The Defcon 2. Although, although, actually, Venezuela, Brazil, Chile is kind of interesting. Let him coup, and then I just take the others. Actually, and also might distract him from Nigeria. Hmm. It's kind of interesting. Nah, but again, like, I, I, I'm going to have to op Kennedy then, so let's do this. Ideally, I would like to hold uh, hold Kennedy for a... Uh, where did my train of thought go? Hold Kennedy for a scoring, like Africa, but... It's not good. <laughs> yeah, it's not good. <laughs> All right, I'm surviving. I'm surviving. Give me a Central America scoring. Give me a Europe scoring, and we're we're right back in this. This will envy. Oh, I did not account for that, did I? But flower power is cool, so no problem. There goes Che. There goes Gunman. There goes Death Squads. Nice Europe scoring and who? Wow, what a what a draw. Let's go. That's what we like to see.
I'm hyped. That was awesome. That is so great. Okay, okay, okay. Game's turning, guys. Ah, the tide is shifting. It's going to be a Panama 2, isn't it? No, Nigeria, actually. In which case, I realign Algeria, I guess. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I guess I realign Algeria with Miss Lenvy. If he coups Nigeria as expected, he might go for Panama. If he goes for Panama, I'm obviously suspe suspecting Central America. If he goes for Panama and he empties it, I'm. I think I junta back. Uh, actually, I think I wait. I think I chill then. Oh, I have to play Miss Lenvy anyways. Right, right, right. Kind of forgot about that. Uh, I'm scoring Europe this turn, which is awesome. Unless actually, unless he gets, unless he has a really high up hand, he just breaks four into France right now. I actually, yeah, then I go Miss Lenvy, then he goes back. But Truman's round, right? So no, he won't do that. Okay, this is Nigeria for sure. Okay, I have a secondary target now in Nigeria. Is this the play? Is there a better play? Nah, this is the play. Nice! Now he can't just refill Algeria because it'll lose Nigeria, so he'll have to coup Sahara and I'll just take Algeria and call it a day. Good stuff. What did he use for the coup there? How I learned? I hope he has a horrible hand. Willie Brandt, one, one, roll a one, roll a one. Okay, okay. Do I coup back? I, uh, I have, I'm the one with arm trace. I think it's, I think I can afford to coup back. I don't have a lot, a ton to do with my ops this turn. Well, Puppet and obviously Phil South America, but in terms of the unscored region, so I, ah, okay. Kind of want to play a little bit aggressive. I was hoping for like a 6 there, but meh. Also, I want to put pressure on him because, I mean, there are a ton of, like, you know, grain sales, VOA, Nixon, subs, rear guards, all that crap is still out there, so. Uh, so very likely he has a lot of trouble right now. Okay, you want intervention? Let's see. CIA, oh, nice. Okay, roll a 1 here, please. That would be so golden. Oh, almost. Okay, not really almost, but... Uh, I'm gonna keep going. Wait. Wait. Slow down, slow down. Should I keep going? Gets me Nigeria, and it probably gets me Algeria. Okay. Oh, he can't space two ops. Whoa. That is actually hugely significant. Wow. He might give me like VOA. Come on, roll a one, roll a one. Oh, okay, okay, that's actually, eh, that's not that. Take that. And... Where to? And Cuba seems uh, unnecessarily risky. If he events Fidel at any point, I am playing Junta into Nicaragua and realigning. No doubt. South Africa doesn't make sense. France is, is very reasonable. Actually, maybe France is a f very smart play. Yeah, I actually do like that, because if he breaks with a 4, I don't have a response. So I like that. We got Cesar in the chat, Patrick, um, Yay Metallic, looks like Tim's gone, Max, welcome everyone to the show. Trying to do my best to entertain you, but also win this game and get revenge on Tomash for rudely kicking me out of the playoffs last year. In the first round, I've never won a, a, a playoff series in ITSL in the main round. In Silver, technically, I just won my first round yesterday against Ajoy and trying to make it two in a row here against Tomash and uh, honestly... It's a game. It's a game. I know eight looks bad, but Europe is Europe makes it three right away, and then look at the board, and it's it's not bad. It's not bad. It's 
still have Puppet, man. Oh my god. Also, again, like, I am actually getting kind of excited because... Uh, looking at the blue cards out there... Ooh, there are a ton. Okay, the pack was played. Catching up on the card counting. Uh, death squads I discarded, right? Test ban. Was test ban played? No, it wasn't. Summit. Salt. Okay, I think I'm up to date with everything else. Quick check on the blues. JP. I feel like I saw JP getting spaced. Nope. Or was that like muscle? Yeah, I did. Okay. Defector is it still around? Yes, it is. Okay, I think I'm good everywhere else. Oh, so that was invented. I missed that. Okay, now I'm good. <sighs> nice. Oh, he. Oh man, I don't even wanna. This is this is what I'm talking about. Now let's do this uh, little maneuver. <laughs> uh, let's just go. Our That felt good. Man, if he has Africa this turn and he doesn't have the ox to fill South Africa, I guess he always has the China card, but... Man, he played Panama turn 5. He could have grain, right? If he had grain and CIA, then UNing CIA and holding grain and playing China, that's what he would have to do, so that might be the case. If that is the case, then he probably uses China for Nigeria right now. Um, could also have like VOA and Colonial are both killers. And subs is also kind of a killer. Like you have to hold it to the last AR. OES has just become a lot more playable because I'm already if I look at the Americas. Um, Omit you kind of want to hold on to, but honestly, that's one that you probably just give. Nixon is very annoying to play. Kitchen debates is definitely active, right? Right. Oh, another possibility he has five-year plan in Central America, which would suck. I really hope he doesn't. Kitchen debates, uh, let's see, plus one, plus three, uh, even, uh, even, uh, minus two. So it's active as of right now. After Right after I took Nigeria, it's active now, I think. Plus two, no, plus one, plus three, even, even, uh, and minus two. So yeah, I'm plus one, and obviously I have a... Very easy path. I think I'm gonna end up opting one small step. I just need ops here. I can't let the let this go the next turn like this. Need to score Europe and then one small step to Brazil and probably Venezuela, yeah. Actually maybe no no. Oh influence, okay. Uh Nigeria, right? Huh? Okay, is this gonna work? No, I take Greece, right? Over Canada, because I just played more. Actually, no, I take Canada because I'm Canadian. What's wrong with you, Hudson? If I don't get Europe off again, oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna. I'm um, just being honest, because if you play China to check and Yugo, he definitely has a, a follow up to br at least break UK or something, right? Man, <laughs> that one extra off in France is suspicious. Oh, he's gonna break. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, oh, look at this hand! And he has all the two off garbage colonial voice grain. Oh my god! Get excited, guys. I, I'm okay. I know that was obviously not ideal. The whole missing out on Europe, but he has to. He had to give me Nixon. That's something. And also this hand. This. Oh, if I purge him, can I win? If oh no, duck's not around. If he had duck and grain, and I purged him, I could have won. It's crazy. 
Okay, okay, okay. Salt. He do, he could have brush. That that's kind of uh, annoying. Oh my god, I have NTB too. I have Fidel. Oh, Central America control coming your way. Oh, Cuban Missile Crisis and uh, Salt Negotiations. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, okay, okay. I gotta play this really carefully because there are definitely opportunities here. There are definitely a lot of opportunities here. Okay. Okay. Headline Cuban Missile Crisis. He probably plays three into South Africa. Yeah, that, that, that seems reasonable. Then I, if I salt, he can score Africa. So am I okay with that? Well, what's the other option? I can't even lower Defcon with Bunta. That's ridiculous. Obviously, the other clear option is to purge him. I think I got to purge him. Yeah. I mean, just the cost, like the. The cards that he could have are so disgusting. It even stops him from bear trapping himself. Yeah, I think purge. Oh, he can see my headline. Oh, this is not a same time headline. Okay, then I'm definitely purging. Okay. Okay, I don't think I'm going to go for the Salt Cuban play, I'm just going to play normally. As in, take Cuba, Space Fidel, create issues for him in Africa. Try to create issues. The only problem is I might not be able to, he can just take South Africa. I don't think I have a play. Oh god, yeah, that's not going to do much for Africa. Uh-oh, that's, uh, he's going to score this AR1, isn't he? Oh, okay. Oh, this is Panama? No, it's not. Okay. That's totally fine. Totally fine. Boom, boom. Uh, boom, boom. Okay. Actually, I'm excited because my suspicion is that. Also, he can't, he probably can't five your plan. Wait, wait, five your plan's out? Defcon set 2. So if he has 5 your plan and grain, that's a win, yeah. E yes, that's a win. Okay, cool, cool. Wait, unless he has bear trap. Either way, I, I again, I'm, I, I'm very optimistic about this hand. I just feel it. I think he's squeezed. Although, cooing AR1, okay, no, never mind. <laughs> Obviously, if he had death on suicide, he would have gotten out of it turn one. Rip. <laughs> Critical thinking skills, guys. Still, obviously, this is very good for me overall. I'm thinking he takes, if he takes South Africa, I respond with Cuba. And that pushes Central America from 5 to 8. Yeah, okay, so back to what I was saying. So he's probably not losing on Defcon, but it's likely that he can't 5-year plan Central. Or if he can, it's going to be an absolute mess. Like, he might have to give me via weight. He might have to give me uh, rear guards. He might have to give me, I guess OAS isn't that bad. But he might have to give me rear guards at one of those. Huh? What? Oh, right. Confused for a sec. Probably Venezuela, which is no problem. I got a, uh, what do you call it, OAS coming in. I need my middle ops anyways, and arms race is not around actually, so that's not a worry. Just Ku Cameroon, right? With a small card. Actually, I wish I... Mm. Okay, you gotta think here. It's 
So basically using, mm, yeah, you know, I'm down to use a three here. Am I? Am I? Maybe his hand isn't that bad. Maybe he dodged all of those blue cards, which would be really a sad, but. Advantage of using a three is that I'm guaranteed to succeed and I get my full quota of Milops. Downsides are obviously that it's an extra op that I need uh, in order to grab my full Milops. And this hand is not that op strong, too, if we're being honest, right? I still want to go three in Cuba. I just want to fill up South America. Hmm, maybe those are should be priorities. So let's count ops here. Cultural Revolution is around. I can play, I, I'm going to play China card this turn, actually. So maybe this is, uh, yeah, I think this is okay then. Because if I coup with Truman, I don't think I'm cooing again in the turn. Also, I might fail. So, okay. Good. Great, I was going to fail if I used Truman, so glad I did that. So the point is I'm putting pressure on Nigeria and on Zaire. He might just dump the scoring here, 4-4, four, four, which I mean, whatever, if he does that. More likely he'll play, actually no, he can't defend both Nigeria and Zaire. He would need a 4 up. I mean, okay, so he could actually, because uh, I think we will bury his round, right? Yeah, so he could, oh, defectors, okay, why not? Do I bother flipping? Yes, I do. Which one? Uh, Zaire. Nigeria is realignable theoretically in the future. More easily realignable. Yeah, make life tough for him here. Don't forget to play the China card. I'm assuming he's going to over control Nigeria now. Or he might, or actually, so now it's, again, it's a, actually, I don't think he's going to be able to, to get off in Africa. Well, he, so what he has to do is he should over control Nigeria, then next turn he can go take South Africa, which is cool, that works. Okay, by the way, OAS plus China, no, I need one more. So OAS, China, and Truman. This combo gets me South America control. That's enough ops, right? One, two, three, four, yes it is. Ooh, brush war Panama, shoot. respond uh, yeah I gotta keep the domination here let's go Argentina can Fidel help me out here oh sorry Junta not really Junta's I, I Junta's my hold right so I hold I end the end Junta and then Junta in the headline next turn yeah that's another advantage of because I want to hunt a headline next turn. It's going to be super strong. Somehow I went from like I just used blasted all my four, four, three, three, four. Now I have like ones and twos left. Wait, hey, that's, I mean, I used my cards, right? Bear trapping himself as expected under purge. Wow, that failed. Okay, actually, this is lit because now I can, uh, oh yes. Wait, maybe I should be taking this one. Wait, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Think this through, calm down. I'm gonna oh yes here. Wait, keep hesitating. I probably should, I wanna stick one in Venezuela too, I think. It's like this, but then what's the point of the one in Panama? You know what? Screw Venezuela. I can just walk in from Uruguay. I'm gonna try something super risky. Oh wow, it worked. <laughs> I should not do this. <laughs> I should not do this.
Ne. Oh god. Oh god, I knew it. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't... Yeah, it's pretty disastrous. It doesn't get much worse than that. Nah, it is what it is. He might, have, he might have to give me, like, voice here or something. Let's see. So he does get to hold the card at the end of it. Uh, maybe uh, that was, that was, yeah. That was very, yeah. Maybe I, I'm disappointed in myself, but what you gonna do? Yeah, him getting stuck at space four, man. That's, uh... Scary for any USSR player in the midwar. Still a ton of cards to come. I mean, Grain, Colonial, Voice are all unseen. Kind of wild if you think about it. Camp David, too. I mean, it's not that you can probably can just event it. Nuclear subs is actually very significant with Africa. So, actually, it might give me a coup right here, in which case I'm definitely taking it. This RS one's even more blue than the last one. Yeah, definitely. No, very... Uh, purging was the right decision. I'm glad I talked myself into it. Ooh, rear cards. He's definitely holding Grain. I think so. This is a one-off for your guards. That is something. Uh, South Africa and inside here, I guess, over control. Yeah, good stuff. And it's gonna come back in the reshuffle too. That's what I like. Also, he's still holding green. I mean, that's a definite suicide card for him, like forever. So. Wait, I should hold Fidel through to the reshuffle. There is going to be a reshuffle, right? Yeah. Yeah, I should hold Fidel, and I should play Truman. Right. This place one to Pan. Or Uruguay, actually. No, no, no. I like that. Yes. Nice. Create problems. Okay. Uh -huh. okay, 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 okay. Cuban Missile Crisis. I spy with my little eye, a CMC. Dang, he got he got hammered this turn again. I think anyways. She will discard it, right? Okay. Um, I gotta make sure I have the count right here. Kitchen debates is mine, our man is mine. South Africa and Central are both his. Middle East is a redraw. Cuban is a redraw. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, okay. So he has Cultural Summit, Central America, Africa, <laughs> our man nuclear crane sales. Wow, that is pretty disgusting. Um, okay, and I redrew Middle East, which I should be able to dominate, actually. That's good stuff. Hopefully, hopefully I can dominate it. What's the time situation? I'm ahead? Okay. Uh, okay, CMC is very obvious. East European unrest actually makes a ton of sense because I forgot to refill UK. Um, maybe I and uh, EU is too many ops, and I can just do it one off. So Camp David's not bad. CMC obviously, actually, I think with the Africa situation, CMC is the best. Okay, he's just gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. So if he takes out Africa, I just flip Angola or Nigeria. Yeah, yeah, I play CMC here. It's gonna be two VPs, and it's gonna also give me Brazil, Venezuela, and let me walk into this whole swath of land here, so. So he's probably gonna headline... Might headline Central America. Nah, he's, he can take Panama, so he won't do that. Might headline Africa at two each. Yeah, I don't know what he's gonna headline, unless he redrew something uh, good. Because out of the seven cards that I know, he doesn't have a good headline. Best one's probably Africa scoring. Or Central America scoring if he wants to give up on that, but I feel like Panama just one off there is worth uh, two VP. Okay, it's actually not even that much. But Africa makes more sense because I don't think realistically with this hand he can defend Africa. So I think he, and I think since he has two scorings that I know about both of them, he should. Oh, he has China card. Okay, he has four ops to play with there. Could be annoying for me. I only have one three really that's playable. Also, CMC keeps grain. Oh, but if he plays China, yeah, he's really messing playing with fire with grain sales, so. Yeah, Ace might, might have come back. He's in he's in death gun. He's in a lot of pain right now. I should be able to even jump out on BPs this turn with Kitchen between Kitchen, Camp, his Middle East. 
and South America is looking so game is looking yeah Africa scoring that's what we like to see okay so now he's gonna just take Panama and maybe go to Colombia although I just cool it I don't really see the point now I space I have to give a Yende I space Fidel and hold we will bring you yeah that seems reasonable Space Fidel in case I get purged, so Wilbur is still spaceable, but Fidel's not, is kind of what I'm thinking. Plus, Quag hasn't been, Quag is not removed, right? I spaced it, I think. No, I played it, I played it. Right, 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 self Quag. Okay, he's just gonna summit there. I could try to, you know, be cheeky and try to break, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna event. I'm just gonna actually, wait. Let's be smart about this. I actually do not wanna, I think I need the ops here for, for a moment to take this out. Maybe I do want to take them. Nah. Wait, let's be careful. Whoa, wait a second. Maybe this is a blunder. Camp event plus R man. These two get me my Middle East domination. East European unrest does not get me East European unrest. Hmm. Okay, so I have choices here to make then. Another option. Right now, I'm using four ops to take Middle East domination. I could play a three into Saudi, but no, camp gives me that VP and overtakes Egypt. I feel like that's worth it. It's very worth it. Overtaking Egypt is pretty significant. So I need to decide though what's going to be my. Oh God, I need a coup card as well. Hmm. Op starved. Let's go see. Okay, actually, can I use his hand to my advantage? If he has grain. He has central. He's going to have to dump. Subs, our man. He has no access to Saudi, right? So once I take Israel, that's it for him. Yeah, I think I focus on my scoring here. Maybe play Kitchen Debates first, right? Get your obligations out of the way. Actually, that's what I'm going to do, yeah. Let me get my obligations out of the way. And then work on Middle East after, I think. Actually, maybe that's... Oh, he's going to play China card for sure, right? Because he has cultural. Go central. Man, that, if that Junta had worked out, that would have been another at least four VPs, maybe five. Yeah, it is what it is. Camp David. Should space Fidel next, maybe. Act like I don't have Middle East, you know, play it all cool, play it all casual. <laughs> He's definitely going to see through it. He's going to break your rack, I think, but hey. I mean, I could play EU actually to Israel one Iraq. Nah, he can just take Syria. No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't tip it off. No, no. Play our man to Israel. And if he breaks Iraq, take Saudi with East European unrest. You know, you got to do what you got to do. I know I'm not taking advantage of the Cuban Missile Crisis. I'm not spreading in South America, but um, I, I'm playing for my scorings with late war coming up. Yeah. Also, he's going to have to give me subs. Oh, he's going to give me subs. I should keep that in mind. He's gonna give me subs. Wait, I messed something up here. Oh, he has voice. He's gonna give me voice. No, he's not. He's gonna play China. He's gonna play cultural. Right, I forgot about that. I'm gonna have to ignore that. But the fact that he played China is nice in the sense that I can hopefully just quietly take the Middle East. Oh, he's gonna cultural, right? So I should do this before he culturals it back and plays it twice in one turn. Oh, he is gonna play it twice in one turn. He's gonna try to hold everything. Smart. Maybe not smart. I don't know. Uh, it depends on the approach that you take. Yeah, voice right now is so brutal. It's going to flip Nigeria and Angola. Or take two from South Korea to Pakistan. It's just a mess. Asia is not good. But overall on the board, I'm definitely head. Oh, I got a plane to Europe before I forget. I have to do that this turn. I should take UK. Special relationship as well. Also, I should coup. Man, too much to do. I guess I coup with the end Okay, he's going to give me subs probably, so I... Play Ende and I coup Nigeria. Or something like that. Is this a break? Wow, it is. This guy just doesn't quit. That's ridiculous. Actually, no, I need ops, right? So I play.
Yeah, I'm not going to get the scoring off, am I? He knows the hand. No, he doesn't. Middle East is an unknown. Well, he's obviously suspecting it. Subs. That's what we like to see. Okay, you drop the scoring. Oh, I can't cool the right. Duh. Obviously not going to play Fidel. Damn. Got me this time, Tavaro. Got me a lot, actually, in this game. I just couldn't get my scoring off. You, sir, are very annoying. Oh, he knows my entire hand. Maybe I shouldn't have played Middle East. Maybe I should have left it ambiguous. I don't know, maybe I misplayed that. Maybe there's a better way to avoid this, though. I don't know. Well, his board position is, I mean... I understand it looks bad, but I'm going to have to give him a Yende. So South America is all of a sudden kind of up in the air. Africa's he's ahead, pretty much, I would say. It's close, yeah, but he's ahead. Central America. What? Oh, right, nuclear subs. Okay, I know his hand. Oh, damn, well played. Okay. Man, imagine if I had drawn subs, I would have been I wouldn't have been game because yeah, China and cultural, but so I get to go back to back, right? Not too Columbia. And I space for that. And now he's going to event cultural last year. Holding grain in voice, but that's just such a... It's tough, man. Yende, and I will take another coup, grab my full mill-ops, and also take uh, Nigeria. Uh, no, Algeria. Angle down. Boo. Still a VP. All right. This game is wild. He still has green and voice. Oh, look at this hand. Look at this hand. Oh, gunman. Okay, you want intervention? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Good stuff. I'm okay here, right? Yeah, wheel brew you space. Iran Iraq's not a problem. Oh, flower power. I'm okay here still. I'm okay here. I'm okay here. Uh, headline purge or ABM? Oh, God, purge. He's gonna cry. He's gonna literally cry. Asia is a big issue. It's a massive issue, actually. So maybe I should headline ABM and coup Pakistan. That would give me access, to, loan access to India. Or maybe I'm overthinking this and I should just purge. Oh, wait, you guys know what I should do? I should play ABM and not coup. He's probably going to coup. And then I play Wheelbury you for ops, and then you an intervention, lone gunman next turn. Huh? Huh? Sounds pretty fire to me. I mean, I get four ops out of it, and I get to space one of these guys. Even Warsaw is a spacing consideration, to be honest, with the country count. I like that. Uh, right, if you miss Lundies, I just give Wilbur you. Right, right, right. 
That seems like a cool play. Seems like a good play too. I don't like I mean seems very reasonable. Boom. Let's see what he does. I like it. Also stops him from headlining Asia scoring. Still has green invoice. Uh, does Aldrich lose me this? Uh, UN, he plucks UN, I'm stuck with gunmen? Okay, no Aldrich. I should have thought about that earlier, probably. Okay, okay, you wanna Pershing me? Uh, that's actually kind of a big issue, because you can pluck one from every single one, two, three. I'm gonna protect. As ugly as this is, I'm gonna protect. So now you can remove Spain, Canada, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I'm still dominating. Nice. One more influence. Yeah, that's ugly, but I think I have to. I need my hero scoring if he has it. It's enough is enough. Uh, Brazil. Brazil tempts a coup. Chile. Actually, Venezuela. Um, why am I letting him coup? What's the point? Otherwise, he's going to coup Colombia, right? But not this turn, because DEFCON. So actually, yeah. Chile. UK, Greece, and Turkey. Wait a second, he can still remove Turkey, Greece, and Spain. Okay, god, I'm an idiot. I need to think these moves through, oh my god. That was almost a disaster. Whew, oh my god, I can't believe I almost did that. Yeah, he would literally just remove Turkey, Greece, and Spain. What is wrong with me? So I cannot defend against Europe. Alright, 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 alright. Korean War is gone, right? Yes, I remember losing it very vividly. Boom. Let's see what he does. The whole point of this whole shenanigans is to play Little Birdie. Maybe I should have just purged him and kept things simple, but you know what? I did this, so. I did completely forget Pakistan, for those of you in the chat saying yes, absolutely, you are correct. Man, this dude still has voice on green. How, how much, he can't get away with this forever, like so, at some point, he's going to come back, right? And like, just win me the game somehow? I hope. I mean, there are plenty of combos, like tear down this wall, cow, duck. This could be uh, quite the uphill battle for our friend Tomash here. I think he's probably good this turn because I headlined ABM and he didn't headline one of those cards, so. Close game. I, I, uh, like, I think, I mean, I'm in a good position, but he's got chances. If Asia comes out, if he can fight back a little bit. But I like where I'm at. I'm not going to lie, I like where I'm at. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, if I can flip Asia to even, man, uh, obviously, I mean, like, I'm dominating everywhere or we're even everywhere, so. Hopefully he has an evil empire so I don't lose two. Oh, I can just space. Even in Ranrak War actually has space in consideration because I can just play these two, ignore the southern half here, and flip Nigeria with Purge or something like that to hold on to Africa. I don't know, some combination like that. Yeah, that's actually it's interesting. Something to think about. The Ranrak War event obviously is good too, but with Hostage Crisis around, it's like kind of meh. Although Milops, eh. Probably get on Milops somewhere else. Let's see, let's see. I'm flexible. I have to UN Gunman, no other choice, right? UN anything else, and I'm stuck with... Oh, if Defcon stays high, yeah, but why play Gunman, man? UN and Gunman. Gunman, I mean, it's a cost. I mean, you're showing him my entire hand, and 
Letting him do something with an op. He's got 10 minutes for three turns. I like that. Put him in a bit of a time crunch. Slow down his calculation. Hopefully. I mean, guy's like an engineer or something, right? So he's probably got me like way covered in that category, but I'll do my, I'll do what I can. It's been a fun game. I definitely have made some mistakes, but I, I mean, I'm doing all right, right? I've had some good hands too, though. Can't lie. Like, uh, oh no, this hand was terrible. <laughs> Oh, this hand was horrible. <laughs> this hand was uh, not bad. Oh, wait, this hand was really good. This is the one where I redrew. What did I get with Asnod? I got Junta Europe, and oh, I guess Europe ended up being so like disappointing. This, yeah. So these were where the monster hands kind of started. Six, seven was not bad, and eight is also a monster hand. He's going to dump Europe. I guess we're going to walk two, as expected. Oh, nice. Okay. Takes out Korea. And playing to Venezuela. Right, so Colombia coup, I didn't know. Nice, I'm actually happy with the play, because I need ops on the board right now, and that's a free 4 op that I get to use. Also, I mean... Oh, okay, listen, uh-oh. Whew! 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 Wipe the sweat off my brow. So he's gonna get to the last AR this turn. Which is annoying. What? What you gonna do? Yeah, who did that to me? I, I think Tim did that, did that to me earlier today, the Wheelbury U1, I was kind of cheese. I think it was Tim, it was somebody recently, maybe it was a Joe yesterday. <laughs> yeah, Cesar's like, um, he can still remove EU Dom. Yeah, I was not thinking, man. Oh my god. That would have been, like, everywhere. I would have been a meme. I already am a meme, what you gonna do, you know what I mean? Okay. What was that? Test ban? Cool, cool, cool. <sighs> I think I gotta play Purge now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Afghanistan's eight. Let's take Afghanistan. I must take this one. Ah. So what did I say to me of this game? Key to beating Kamash, taking Afghanistan, and playing quickly. Got one out of two, right? Man, I feel like I should be had like 15 VPs instead of 3, it's so annoying. A well played one, well done by Tomash. But I mean, this is a downside, right? He's wasting a lot of ops in these breaks, and his board position has suffered as a result, so... Oh, independent is really nice. I didn't get the joke. Okay, um, what did that go? One chili and one bromelia. Uh, let's go Warsaw now, let's trigger it. Again, I'm just delaying the war decision. Um, in order if maybe I can snag an evil empire. 
Oh, he's gonna have to give me China, or he's gonna have to give me voice. Uh, I don't, I don't know why he thinks he's so far behind. I, uh, what can happen in two turns? Okay, so he added two Romania, two Austria, and one Poland. Signals maybe Pope in hand. Anyways, uh, is U.S. Japan? Uh, U.S. Japan is around. I'm really gonna have to do this. That's disgusting. So if he plays it, I'm gonna be absolutely disgusted with myself. But hey, I mean, I accomplished my goal. I flipped Asia, and like now it's, you know, now we're allowed to flip for North Korea. Like now it's close. Before I was going for eight. If he wants to take Taiwan, like be my guest. Yeah, I'll have to give me the. Ch I think he'll give me the China card this turn, anyways. Again, voice and grain in his hand. That's I honestly killed his game since like once he had him from when I purged him, right turn six. Should I have purged him this turn? Maybe. Would have been definitely helpful. Yeah, that's what it is. So there's two cards I don't know about. And the two I know about are grain and voice. I'm leaning towards spacing. Oh no! Okay, okay. So okay, because I need the locks, right? So I'm gonna event Iran, Iraq, Iran, Iraq to Iran, and I'm gonna space out, right? So I need the locks. Kind of forgot about that. <sighs> oh, that's annoying. It's very annoying. Uh, wait a second. What? Why did he play like that? Curious. Okay, I mean, I just have to give him this card if I need to protect these two. Actually, Cuba can wait, but is there more pressing concerns? Uh, Europe, but I don't have the time. Nah, let me just take the battlegrounds. So I'm not spacing anything in the end. Wow. Uh, what did he just play? So, uh, Luke Deal. Come on, Evil Empire. I mean, actually, I would prefer, like, South America scoring, if you want, but uh, Evil Empire is cool. The China card probably going to come in here now. I'm assuming, like, just going to hammer South Korea. Would make a lot of sense, I mean, with Calderon and everything. Oh, he has the last ER. Oh, shoot. This could be... Actually... Wow, I think, so I, if I were him, I would just use this as a chance to get rid of the OA. Oh, but I'll just, thing is, I can do the Nigerian and Gola flip, and that's really irreparable, right? So, but actually, no, hmm, yeah, I think this works. You just play the OA. Yeah. Oh, he, yeah, no, it works because he's going to have back-to-back -back ARs. Not back-to-back -back ARs, but he's going to have the last AR, you know what I mean? Libya, right? Remove access and remove there. That's his strongest play, I think. Could also grab two from Laos. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I kind of... Mm, battleground over non-battleground, though, but unscored. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Solidifies my Asia a lot. Nigeria definitely better than Libya. But is Laos better than Libya is the question. Is Nigeria better than Libya? Yeah, I think so, because he can play into two. Mm. Also, the thing is with Middle East. Um, now I'm not so sure anymore. Yeah, I, I, I think so, because Zaire is already flippable, right? So it's not like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm good with this. So he's still holding grain seals. Still might kill him. Actually, terrorism is gone. Uh, fiber plant around. I could fiber plant. It. Let's see. Uh, influence Chile in somewhere maybe. Yeah, as expected. Wait, should I just space this? No, no, I should do this right because the VPs are even, and I have a chance. Oh yes, to do that. Mm. That's what I like. Random hostage crisis obviously is still around, but hey, I mean, still pretty awesome.
very glad I didn't go for Libby. I should have factored the Ranarak into my decision making there. I just kind of losing it here. Okay. All right. All right. Chill out. You're gonna. You're you're doing well. You're doing well. Wait. He could have evented. All right. He doesn't really have a. Okay. So he's just gonna use his back-to-back -back ARs to uh, take. War games, cow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alert! 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 That was very nice. Oh, baby! Can I duck him safely? He's the higher seed, though. <laughs> oh man, Asia scoring also. Wait, he didn't play China? Right, he just broke South Korea. Right, right, right. Takes it. Okay, okay. Let's play slowly. You have more time than him. Let's not play too slowly, actually. We do want to rush him if possible. Um, what could he headline? Brush war doesn't affect Asia. Well, I mean Malaysia, but you know, it doesn't affect Asia. Or Afghanistan. Yeah, you forget it. Um, indo pack doesn't affect Asia. Missile Envy would draw war games, doesn't affect Asia. Decol. Decol affects Asia. D style affects Asia. Ah, uh, actually, it doesn't surprise me. Glassnose is chill. Okay, so literally decol. If I wanna, if I wanna take the risk of headlining Asia, but duck is better. Okay. Man, if if he didn't break South Korea, Cal, I would be like living the life here. Maybe I should just headline rear guards and go Burma and ah, no, nah, rear guards kind of meh. Ooh, Miss Lindy, is that safe? Not a lot to figure out. Nah, I could just hit like U.S. Japan or something though. Ooh, North Sea Oil. Oh, okay. All right. I understand this turn. This is going to be a North Sea Oil combo turn with a four and into Asia scoring, something like that. And I'm going to headline just a triple check real brave. Like, I removed it. Yes, I played it. Okay, okay. And Cal's in my hand, right? Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I have war games too, so that brings me to six. If I can get a positive Asia scoring, I can win this game. Unlikely though. I don't think I'm gonna get a positive Asia scoring. And the so Also if he has tear down this wall, nah he's okay, right? He can just space it and hold green, continue to hold green. Still have China card by the way. Chase my space card. For your guys, this is an awesome hand. I can also event shuttle. Wow, that actually is a very serious consideration. Actually I probably will end up eventing shuttle now that I think about it. A heck of a game. Let's see what he does. So he knows I have Cal in hand. That I did actually give him that information because otherwise, obviously, I cannot headline duck. I got to repair Europe. <laughs> ah. Man, Europe has been like, it's very frustrating. But again, I, I do think this is, I mean, yes, he did a great job of dodging the scorings, but that took a lot of time, a lot of ops, and in exchange, I mean, he hasn't had a lot of time or ops to focus on board position elsewhere. And he's, he made a lot of, he's made a lot of temporary gains, but now long term, the board looks very solid for me. I mean, Central's mine, Europe's mine, South America's mine. Africa is, is mine or it's close, right? Whatever. Ooh, wow, you're in Samantha. Wow, that is... Uh, that is a very good sign if he doesn't have anything better than that to headline. Oh, there goes US Japan. He doesn't take it. So, option to dump Europe now. Asia now. Also, options to war games and tie this, but again, on the lower C, so that would lose me the game. So, let's not do that. Now, is Missile Envy safe? Could hit Tear Down the Swallow. Could hit the Iron Lady. Which would suck. Uh, could hit uh, NORAD, which would also suck. Could hit 5-year plan, uh, which doesn't really change anything. 
Um, could hit Evil Empire, could hit AWAX, okay. Arms, brush, salt. Okay, the danger is hitting Olympic Games. If you have all twos. I'm not going to do it. I'm a coward. Um, I'm not, I, I'm just so far ahead. Okay, how to respond to this? We could just off swarm him. Honestly, you know what, I'm going to off swarm him because if we're off swarm here, then he's not doing nasty stuff on the rest of the board. So that's going to be my, you know, if we're just trading ARs, I mean, that's a win for me, obviously. Oh, shoot. Okay, so yeah, yeah, okay. Hold on to War Games, Asia, North Sea. Well, this is the combo that I'm going to kind of try to go for, see if it works out. What I'm thinking is so if I break Pakistan and North Korea at the same time. No, I still don't dominate. Actually, this is kind of stupid. Why am I doing this? I should just dump Asia. Maybe I should have just dumped Asia. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe this is a huge mistake. Oh, what? Wait, what? Does he have Africa supporting? What? Arms race? Is arms race around? Oh, it is. It is. Okay, okay. Arms race is around. That's definitely what he's going for here. Um, so, Mr. One, the attempt coup in Saharan states. Oh, wait, Zaire's vulnerable now. As is Nigeria, so this should take care of both of them. Ugh, almost. Oh, you're in Samantha, I forgot about that. Shoot. Yeah, War Games is definitely out the window now. Man, that was actually a mistake. I should not have done that. Maybe I sh uh, actually, I don't know what I should have done. I should have space. Is he worried about War Games? Does he have a scoring? Okay. Now, Asia is definitely dead. It's not happening. So I might even just play. No, let's see. Okay, I'll play Shuttle now. Take South Korea. Um, take Guatemala. No, no, no. Take South Korea. UK and second Spain. Europe has been like the bane of my existence this game. So I'll score Asia for one. Maybe I should have gone for. Maybe I should still go for the North Sea. Okay. I just don't think it works because he has four battlegrounds, right? So. I feel like he has South America scoring. I don't know why. I feel like he has a positive VP card for me. Influence. Where? Okay, I mean, reasonable. So we're officially not doing the North Sea oil play anymore. But this is honestly useful because I, I just need to play these off. So maybe this is even better than going for this NSO play. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Truman. He has arms race, doesn't he? It's quite annoying. I was like, what can I even remove? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so if he has arms race, congrats, I guess. I think Saudi is better than Iraq, right? Yeah, we just we, we just gear up for final now, you know. Slow and steady wins the race. He probably has arms race, but it is what it is. Rear guards is gonna help me overprotect Africa. Yeah, arms race is it. Maybe I should do that now, actually. Actually, I will do that now. Does it make sense to wait and lose these battlegrounds? Even Algeria, actually, I will overprotect. And uh, let's break some bubble. Uh, stop the Zaire realigns. Okay, the board is looking obviously fantastic for me. I can stop pretending that it doesn't. It's gonna purge me last turn. Cool. Ooh, dang, I really saved my scoring for the last AR. Oh, he also grabbed a VP out of that salt. Not bad. Good hand. 
what we like to see. I think it's a good hand. Although I literally am not sure what to headline. What's my stat? Why? No pack? Okay, slow down. Let's think this through step by step. He's gonna purge me. Right. He's gonna purge me. As long as I can score Europe, but that's a big as long as Somehow, I don't know, man, Tomash is just a slippery snake. JP doesn't make a lot of... S ah, actually, I could threaten Solidarity. And if he has Solidarity, I could be a pain. So, let's go, JP. Yeah, nothing else. Can't go Europe too risky. Really glad I drew Aldrich and not him, obviously. That's a huge, uh, huge swing there. Looks like a, looks like a good position. But never count your chickens before they hatch, or well, whatever the phrase is. I've seen better turn 10 hands, especially considering the fact that I know I'm going to get purged. But hey. Oh, I event Iron Lady and play Socialist. Cool. Wait a second. I okay. I overtake Argentina first. Junta. So I don't overtake. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Um, I do really want to event this, but I Che will Che is gonna go Uruguay. So I don't. And no, no, Che is not. Okay, I actually need to figure this out properly. So if I want to go with the plan of Event Iron Lady. Event Iron Lady. Socialist Ops. Um, Indopac Event. I even know it's going to cost me two VPs, but what you're going to do, one small step, Ops. Europe, obviously. So that's one, two, three, four, five plays. Uh, sixth play is a... Sp so I can actually sp uh, space and then just play Bresnev, right? And hold something. Yeah. That works. The other option is, I mean, I guess I op Iron Lady. Then how bad is it? If I op Iron Lady, now I only have four ARs here. And then my fifth AR, I would space, let's say, Che. My sixth AR, I play Brezhnev and then Aldrich last AR. So I'm giving up one op. And in return, though, I get no. I gain an op. I can because in return I gain two ops. Because instead of that AR where I'm, oh my god, time! What? I lost some time. Ew. Wow. 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 I, I, I can't believe that. Wow. That's ridiculous. I am, I'm ashamed. Wow. <sighs> That's insane. Wait, when did that one go up? Wow. That is something else. Um, did this really just happen? I was counting all the ways I could lose. I never even bothered looking at the clock. This is really bad, eh? This is really bad. That is incredible. Oh, 
Oh god. Maybe I should check the chat's reaction. Uh Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god, somebody just said he's gonna lose on time. Uh, you. <laughs> well, I'm never commenting a game on Action Round Zero again. <laughs> All those bluffs. I didn't bluff much. Oh no. Yeah, that was a really fun combo. I was, yeah, I was checking the clock periodically throughout. Well, at least I gave the chat a show tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. If I had noticed, even like on turn 9, I would have just had that urgency in my mind, but I had no urgency whatsoever. I think I spent 10 minutes, like uh, 3 minutes. Look how long I'm, I'm watching myself spend like 10 minutes planning out this turn and I have, oh my god, this is... <sighs> well, good game to Tomash, he's a gracious opponent as always. I cannot believe this happened. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm. I kind of deserve it, I mean, that's, that's bad, like... Especially like I was, I was making fun of Tomas a couple of times. Well, not making fun. I was poking fun. I was saying, you know, he tends to play slow and. Look at me taking my sweet time figuring out the order and, and how to end this game and meanwhile my clocks... Yeah... <laughs> it is! It's the second time you won an unwinnable game against me! <laughs> Man, uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. Um, GG to Tomash. Um, he played really well, forced me into a lot of tough decisions, right, which caused me to use my time. Um, and I honestly, I probably spent a lot of time on some decisions that I didn't need to. Um, and so, obviously it hurts, but oh, I hope Tomash does well in silver playoffs. Let me send him that. Well, best of luck on... in the rest of the playoffs yeah somebody's saying to be fair commentating is hard for time that's Cesar I think I, it is yeah and uh, yeah sure I mean I'll be fair to myself I don't I very rarely commentate my own games like I mean I commentate other people's games right um not my own but still I mean come on guys like uh, I, I even at, if I noticed the start of this turn I had two minutes I would have won this game no doubt easily I could have like you know just done a little bit here and there <sighs> No need to apologize. This guy is such a nice guy. You guys see this? Every, everyone's seeing this on um, on on, uh, on screen, right? Tomas Tavaro is an extremely nice guy. Never forget. No need to apologize, man. He forced me into a lot of tough decisions. And totally my fault for not watching clock. 
Yeah, world upside down, literally. Uh, I timed out versus Tomash, like how even? Okay, I'm going to end the stream, guys. Um, I'll let Tomash know that it's on the stream. Um, game is on stream. Game is on ARZ with my commentary. If you want to watch later. And take care, guys. Uh, good night. And you know what? No, I'm not gonna blame the commentary. I'm gonna blame me. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna commentate, try, try to commentate my own game here, and uh, we're just gonna get better at it. Yeah, and uh, that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> all right. Good night, all.